Hey, it's time for voiceover body shop. It's a town meeting. We got a lot of people. George, we, we, we're, we're everywhere. Nobody is in the studio except me. We have been working very hard trying to fix all this stuff to make it work. And it is not easy to not only have me be remote, but also our producer, Sue, is also remote tonight, running the switcher from afar. And that is no small feat. So. Right. So we're glad we got it up, and uh, we're looking forward to having a good conversation tonight about the current affairs. Absolutely. And uh, if you've got a question, throw it in the chat room. And we've got some great guests tonight, and maybe a surprise guest. And we got lots of great stuff to talk about. So join us now for Voiceover Body Shop Town Meeting. From the outer reaches, they came. Bearing the knowledge of what it takes to properly record your voiceover audio. And together, from the center of the VO universe, they bring it to you now. George Widom, the engineer to the VO stars, a Virginia Tech grad with the skills to build, set up, and maintain the professional VO studios of the biggest names in VO today. And you, Dan Leonard, the voiceover home studio master. A professional voice talent with the knowledge and experience to help you create a professional sounding home VO studio. And each week they allow you into their world, bringing you talks with the biggest names in the voiceover world today, letting you ask your questions and giving you the latest information to make the most of your voiceover business. Welcome to VoiceOver Body Shop. VoiceOver Body Shop is brought to you by VoiceOverEssentials.com, home of Harlan Hogan Signature Products. Source Elements, remote studio connections for everyone. VoiceActorWebsites.com, where your VO website isn't a pain in the butt. VOHeroes.com, become a hero to your clients with award-winning voiceover training. J. Michael Collins Demos, when quality matters. And VoiceOver Extra, your daily resource for VO success. And now, live to drive. From their super secret clubhouse and studio in Sherman Oaks, California, here are the guys. I'm Dan Leonard. Good evening. And I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver. Body Shop. Or V-O-B-S. It's Nightline. <laughs> America I held guess. hostage by a virus. <laughs> You got that right. Yeah, boy, this has been this is this is like a science fiction movie. <laughs> Only worse because it. it's actual. Yeah, we are living it right now. Yeah. But it's been an uptime for us because and we'll talk to people tonight because we have a lot of guests tonight who are going to join us uh, via Zoom to talk about what they're going through as voice actors during this in incredibly unique time in our history and we're never this is one we're going to tell our kids about. Although my kids are living it now at home. Um, yeah. But anyway, how is it affecting you so far? Well, as I've told several people, I've been preparing for this moment all my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, there's just been a, an avalanche of people needing tech support, mainly regarding Source Connect. Right. Um, almost overwhelmingly, like 95% has been about Source Connect. Um, we've had a couple people mention IPDTL, um, a couple people saying, I just need to make sure my studio sounds broadcast quality. No so such thing. This week. Um, but other than that, it's, it's tremendous amounts of help, help. I need to have source connect and I need to do it from my home studio. And all I have is an Apogee mic and that's it. And an iPhone. How do I do this? Help me, help me. A lot of those. So that's what my week's been like. I've been, you know, I've maintained some sanity, although today I'm still wearing what I wore when I woke up. <laughs> you could probably take I'm the hat off. Hat. It's not cold. There. No, it's not. I'm not wearing it. It was 80 degrees here in Southern California today. Not taking the hat off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, that's what it's kind of been like. And I've just been, I just want to make sure that everybody that needs help is going to get it somehow, some way without all of us going crazy in the process. So. How about you, Dan? What, what's it been like for you guys in the, in the valley? Because I'm, I'm in a rural area. I'm in Topanga. And yeah. I can walk outside and I can walk up the street and 
I can ride my bike around and it's, it's, you know, it's pretty nice. And it's not like it's an entirely different. It's not all that different for me other than the fact that I'm not going to see anybody in their studios. Right. So it's not that unusual or different. How about you? Well, you know, I spend most of my time in this cave anyway, so I don't really see right. anybody. You know, I mean, I walk into the house, I see my family. They look at me going, oh, he's come back from the cave. Um, right. I spend a lot of time in there. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, again, you walk around the neighborhood, people sort of like, you know, walk, you know, the dogs all sniff each other, but everybody else tries to say six feet apart. Right, right. And, uh, but there really has, there's been no reports of any outbreak here in our neighborhood here in Sherman Oaks. So I'll and think that's a... not in Topanga either. I mean, I don't know if there's anybody in Topanga that would even bother getting tested. Exactly. But, so, <laughs> but the for the most part, business wise, uh, yeah, my phone's been ringing off the hook. I, my, my inbox is full. People sending in audio samples. They're like, is my studio good enough? But yep. what I've seen, as you were just mentioning, is that the major studios here are telling people to you've got to have source connect and you've got to have some other software that most of the people are like i've never used it and they want me to change over overnight like this when there are a bunch of you out there i know that have been probably doing this as long as we have and understand how to do all this stuff but they're bypassing the experts because who knows Right. If there's any industry people out there that are actually doing working on the other end, we know how to do this. Look, we're doing a TV show. Uh, come on now. Pretty simple. But I then again, right. I'll probably never work in this town again. <laughs> Why do you say that? Oh, just I've been very critical of some of the studios here. You know, they're, yeah. They're, I mean, there are people out there that don't understand how to use Pro Tools or how to use Reaper. Because they're saying you have to use Source Connect. And the fact of the matter is, is Source Connect, as we'll probably find out as we talk a little bit more tonight, is a standalone unit. It's got nothing to do with those particular pro uh, programs. Right. Or vice versa, as, as it were. Right. You were saying they have to have, well, yeah. They, they don't need to have Reaper or Pro Tools to run Source Connect. Right. So why are they telling people no. this? This is, this is some manager upward. Well, this is how we do it. Tell them how to do this. And not considering the fact that there are people that actually know what they're doing. And there are people out there that are going to be a little behind on the learning curve for them to catch up. So why don't they use the people that are really good at this already? Yeah. I don't yeah, understand. Exactly. It's like that would mean recasting a bunch of Nickelodeon TV shows. And well, hopefully they'll the be right patient. Well, yeah, they're going to have to wait. They're going to have to wait until everybody gets their act together and it's going to take as long as it takes. And, uh, but they want it. Everybody wants to keep working. So people are going to get their things functional and things are going to come back online and it's going to take several weeks for yeah. it to happen. Yes. Well, we have a special guest hopefully coming on during the show tonight who will probably help us with some of that, but we have a lot of other guests with us tonight. Uh, no, they're over here, aren't they? I'll <laughs> figure it out. Let's see. I can grab your nose there. Uh, so why don't we go around the horn and see what's going on with everybody else right now. Let's start off with, um, well, our good friend Byron Wagner. Byron. Good evening. There Happy you to are. be here. Happy to be anywhere, as they say in the business. Well, you're at least you're somewhere. Uh, yeah. How has it been for you so far during this great quarantine period? Well, the first thing that happened was I watched all of my travel plans for the next four months drop off the face of the map and uh, yeah. had to cancel hotels and airfares and so on. And it was kind of, it was disappointing. I mean, you know, there's the One Voice and VO Atlanta and uh, APAC and all that stuff. But it was, you know, in a way it's kind of um, freeing, liberating, like going commando. <laughs> it, it meant that I had less obligations on that that end of things and uh so what's happened instead is i've kind of found myself sitting in on a lot of you know the online you know the coffee clashes the the webinars and so on and trying to help people that way and other than that and the fact that i don't go out to do things the way that i used to do i'm very comfortable we did you know the the prepper run to costco and cbs and all that stuff so i can't complain yeah it means i'm not paying enough attention <laughs> All right. All right. We'll come back to you. Uh, Jem Torres, you got your mic on there yet? 
There she is. Well, there's her, there's her picture anyway. Come on. <laughs> Talk to us. Well, how's it been for you so far? Um, so I was already working from home, so it was just a matter of seeing all the emails of now you need to have this and things need to be prepped like that and realizing all these other things that I had planned on learning that now I need to learn sooner than planned. So it's just been a lot of now it's like front loading on what it's like to, to be able to produce everything myself. Ah, so doing wow. that after my normal day job. Wow. Well, yeah. So you're, you're accustomed to going into the studio. You're, you're a, you're a, you're an in studio talent mostly. Uh, the few times I've been in, yes, I've been in studio. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So they're saying, Hey, we want you to do what you normally would do when you just walk in and read a script and do everything now yourself from home. Yes. Yeah. Which we've only been telling people to do for 10 years, you know, by the way, this actually, well, nine years, this is our, our, our ninth anniversary month. We started doing this show nine years ago in March 22nd, 2011. And go watch episode number one. It's so different from this. I, I know. I was getting all these congratulations on your seven-year anniversary on LinkedIn yeah. for VOBS, but that's clearly whenever we created the account. Right. <laughs> it, it was nine years ago we started EWABS. So, right. yeah, that's where we're at with that. Yeah. And, and now well, this is sort of like the way we used to do it, only far more sophisticated. It is. It is. There's There's a lot more going on. All right. Uh, Jay Horace, you're on. How has this situation been affecting you so far? Well, I've trained for it all my life. I'm an only child, so this works out well for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but honestly, um, for me, I do a lot of TV work, and that's totally stopped. Uh, but it's kind of refreshing because I have a six-hour commute when I drive in and out of Chicago. Um, so, And actually, what's crazy is my last... TV show booking was a, a self tape that I did at home. I didn't even have to go in for the first round or call back or anything. Yeah. Are so they, that was nice. are they telling you when the production might pick up again? No, no, they're, they're doing a lot of free webinars. The cast and directors are talking about, uh, this could be the new, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're saying they're talking to clients, but nothing's actually happened as far as an audition for a job to shooting next week or tomorrow, like they usually do. No. Yeah. But the voice work should be still out there. I mean, the radio's still on, and there's still commercials going on and all these other things. So we, we should be able to do this stuff without too much trouble. So yeah. have and you seen interesting. My you, agent sent out a letter saying, hey, need you all to have your, your TV self-tape areas up to speed, and, and then your voiceover it would be nice if you would be on Source Connect or a talent more, you know. So what I did, instead of calling you guys, is just, went from the free version to the paid version, had them walk me through it. It's pretty simple. I mean, not simple when you, somebody walks you through it um, and you're comfortable with the computer. Like I am, I didn't have, it's, it's, I'm ready for that. So I'm a talent. I haven't done a certification. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you guys know what that is. I just heard about that. Um, I want to check your lines out and all that stuff, but um, that might be next. What, what does that involve? Right George? Uh, have you done it yet? I haven't. I haven't done it in years, so I don't remember. Um, but there's some kind of an ex, extra little fee that you pay, and then a certification test where they they actually test to make sure that you actually know what you're doing functionally on Source Connect. So if you have gone through that, you will get an extra little badge, and um, that little extra badge will show up on your account on the on the account manager page, not on the actual app. I think, but only on the account manager where people add you as a contact and uh, where you manage contacts. And because of that, then you'll be able to show up as a special talent, somebody that's certified. I haven't mentioned it or promoted the idea of using it or doing that in an incredibly long time, but um, it's not a bad idea. Anything that will just show that you've put the extra work and time to really understand and know your tools is probably a good idea right now. Yeah, I, I and to really and to have a good studio is not that hard. I think people are being freaked out by having to have this additional stuff along with certain software that perhaps they don't know how to use and as we were saying isn't really necessary. But you know everybody's like, "But I want to do it the way they say." You know, it's like if you're going to send something if you're going to send them a file or you're going to be over over source connect or whatever, 
they don't know what's going on on the other end as long as they're hearing it on the other end. I don't quite get that. But anyway, Jennifer Riley, where are you? Jennifer Riley joining us also from Chicago. Where'd she go? She's here somewhere. Oh, uh, she's probably running after her kids. All right, we'll come back. Oh, no, there she is. I'm here. Okay. How has Hi. this situation been for you so far, hiding at home and being a voice actor with all your, with, you know, with your two kids and everything that goes on there? Honestly, it's been pretty hard. <laughs> it's been challenging, you know. Um, I have two school-aged kids and navigating the whole um, e-learning or remote learning from the teachers um, has been uh, has been interesting, um, and I'm used to spending a lot of time alone, but not quite this much time. So <laughs> that's been yeah. interesting uh, as well. Yeah, alone with your kids, hard. though. Yeah. So, are, is are you have you? But you have found time to do recording and and, and any audition. Yeah. And stuff? I've been able to record an audition. That hasn't been a problem. It has been slower for me. Um, it hasn't been, I, I've noticed it's been slower, but. Um, Which work but has yeah, gone I'm, away I'm mainly? Slower. What kinds of work have gone away that what you normally would be doing? Um, mostly the, the things that I'm getting from uh, my local agent here, it's changed ah. quite a bit, um, but I think they're adjusting, you know, all the, I live in Chicago and I think everybody's kind of adjusting to the new normal. Yeah. So yeah. have enough supplies and are you, are you, have you been going out shopping or? Uh... I, yeah, I have, I, I've, I've got some rice and beans and some other good stuff, you know, I'll be, we'll be okay for a while. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Haven't heard any news about how, how it's going in Chicago, but, uh, I, I, what are the reports like there? They're turning McCormick Place into a hospital. Mm -hmm. Oh, Robert. Ah. Hi. All of a sudden, we have <laughs> Robert from Source Elements. How yes. you doing, Robert? Well, we have a surprise guest. Robert <laughs> Marshall joins us from... Hi, Dan. <laughs> he, is, he is the guru behind Source Connect and... Sleepless in Chicago. Yes. Seriously. He looks really tired. So... <laughs> How has this affected you? Um, we've been going nonstop. Uh, probably I've been working between starting between seven and 10 in the morning, going till four in the morning. It's been about two weeks. Whew. Just nothing but onboarding people and answering questions. Everything from huge major like news networks asking for insane, like multi, like, People all fly on the walls listening to interviews with two different guests being interviewed in an interviewer, and then maybe even trying to wrap it in a translator to your voiceover at home, to your studios who are trying to do basically mix with a picture lock on a talent with clients getting streamed picture of what they're locking to. You name it. It's been it's been just huge. Well, you've been preparing for this. How long? How long has Source Connect been been online? How long? We're like almost twenty years now. Actually, scary enough. I hate to admit how old I am, but yeah. <laughs> well, you were ten years old when you started this. That, there you go. I was uh, six, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you've been preparing all these years to do this, and yeah. now you're the man. Yeah, and then we hired uh, we hired some more tech support people. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> but you got to get them up to speed, right? You can't just That's hire the problem. People. It's just more people asking you questions. I mean, they're good, right. but it's it's like you're just like on our on our internal Slack and then it's like, "Hey, what about this?" but you're talking to someone and then you're just like your brain's just like going like 10 different directions because you're answering four different questions at the same time, but they're getting more up to speed. And then we opened up a community sort of um, chat forum, which almost became a monster of itself because we had to <laughs> get two people on there that were like we hired them to kind of um you know help people but it was more like a guidance thing because the whole idea is that we were going to seed it and then the community would help itself but then that just became a big giant hand holding thing and so we had to pull it back and basically say to the guys that were moderating it you are the leaders of the class and you give information but you don't do it for them because we need to create community brain here right 
Um, Smart. So, I saw that so, you did that. You created it, you put it into place, you got it running, you found a few mods, and then you guys stepped back out because you can't be in you can't be in all places with the else at the same time. I haven't even logged into that thing because it's like a right. It's like a freaking. You just like a get hornet's sucked nest. Into it. Yeah, you just get sucked <laughs> into it. <laughs> so, what do you suggest to everyone who's like? Go on bananas here. I mean, here in Southern California, I'm, you know, my phone's been ringing off the hook. Right. George is simple, simple. A, get a Mac and dump your PC. Yay! Totally. <laughs> Just screw it. Like, like, yeah. Number two, um, sign up and we'll try to get people through the licensing process. And we really understand that iLock is a pain in the ass, but it's a necessary evil. And it really is industry standard. And um, it is what it is. But if you muscle through it, it's actually not that hard. It's, it's really just a bunch of account email verifi verifications. Grab this code, dump it into this verification, get your iLock, launch Source Connect, log in your iLock account, download your license, and then you're in. Jump back into our website, go to the Source Stream section, and do the Source Stream map. Select your server. And now you can kick port forwarding down the road for a while, because if everyone gets on the streaming server and the only only vulnerability is people who are on Windows machines, they, unfortunately, we're just not there yet. We're catching them up. They can't do source stream or whoever's on a really, really old copy of Source Connect, they can't do source stream. But if everyone's on 3.9 with source stream, you're connecting. That's really the fastest, best way to do this. And then we can get in there and help answer everyone's questions at a little bit better pace instead of um, trying to dive into everyone's routers and fix them all yeah really how many how many new accounts did do you think you've uh, you've gotten in the last week couldn't, or so couldn't count <laughs> well that's probably a good thing yeah no it's great like we, it's you know like we're looking at the whole world falling apart and i just feel thankful that i've got a job like my post work just like went poof i had a whole summer's worth of ad campaigns just basically like just vanish off the schedule entirely and uh, I do a lot of post mixing. That was one of my main main gigs as well. And so this is really wonderful that I've got something to fall to. Um, and great, you know, I feel lucky. Essentially. Yeah. We all feel lucky yeah. at Source at Source Elements. We really do. And thank everyone because, um, you know, we're we're trying to make well, it happen. And yeah, go ahead, George. You know, you guys have been like you. I several of us have said this. Jay said this earlier. I said this earlier. We've been all, we've all been preparing for this moment our whole lives, and um, you know it's because if you, this had, this kind of a thing had happened maybe six seven years ago, you guys certainly would have felt, would not have probably felt as prepared, as maybe overwhelmed as you are now. Yeah. Maybe back then it could have been quite a bit worse. So, you know, it's we're all at the point where we are now, taking it on and doing, we're doing pretty good, and you're you're investing crazy hours right now. Cause you yeah, know, I mean, I, I don't know if you noticed, but like, you're like, where are you? And you're texting me and I'm like, shit. Like, right. <laughs> hold on. And I just like literally told somebody like, I'm going to call you back in an hour and finish this and, yeah. uh, and just like jumped off. Um, yeah, exactly. Somebody, like, somebody's right now waiting for Robert to call them back to finish setting up their source connect. So we're not going to keep you good too much. <laughs> no, no, it's cool. It's cool. Actually, this is like, there's something very nice about this, like having a conversation where it's a little bit more about it, like, Hey, how are you and how's the world and and not just like my router <laughs> like yeah not not one person my audio probably asking you how are you right now they just want their stuff to work yeah so yeah but well, answer this one question because george and i have been tossing this about and, and we've been seeing this a lot from people and that is source connect standard is a standalone uh program now i know it can work through pro tools and some other things why are these? Why do you think these studios are saying you have to have Pro Tools, you have to have Reaper, and you've got to have this along with Source Connect? It doesn't seem to make any sense. Wait, it's complete misinformation. So Thank essentially, you. what I keep on telling people, I, I go one step further. I'm like, Twisted Wave, eh, QuickTime Recorder. Like, there's your backup. It's the simplest recorder. Period. Right. I can I can explain it to someone without even bothering with a screen share, and I can do it quicker. Like it yeah. takes longer to set up a screen share than it does to sell, tell someone to launch QuickTime, cancel the stupid dialog box that comes up, right. go up to the file menu, say new audio recording, click on the little tiny arrow, which I was, wish it wasn't so small, select <laughs> your input, click it on again, select maximum, jam the record button and get on with it. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Well, Robert, we want you to go back to sleep. 
Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we really appreciate you coming on and, and, and talking with us. And, uh, and of course, if people, when people need Source Connect, what do they do? They just go to sourceelements.com and follow the instructions, right? Yeah, I mean, we, we are definitely here to help. And I feel like we're, I, I, we're about, um, I don't know what the schedule is now, but we're like a week out. But what we're basically doing is, um, you know, we, we have these book scheduled appointments in an hour. And then we're, able, we're usually able to get people done before the hour. And then so someone finishes and they're like, there's just a pile of phone calls and like call someone else who's like, I, because a lot of people are, they can't wait a week. Like I got a session tomorrow and it's like kind of came to it a little bit late, but we're going to make it happen. So we just say, be ready for a phone call anytime. And we're going to call you in whatever pocket we can find. Right. And, um, and like, yeah. yeah. And sometimes you leave a voicemail and you're like, sorry, like next call. <laughs> and then <laughs> you keep on going and, yeah, it's like, I don't know how my voice sounds. Does it sound like I've been talking for two weeks or three weeks straight? <laughs> yeah. You just well, now you know what it's like. Yeah, you, you do it for a living. <laughs> yeah. Well, Robert, thank you so much for taking some time out and joining us and easing all our fears as we watch you crumble into a little pile. <laughs> thank you, guys. No, we are um, we're honored, and I, I really think that um, like we're hopefully making it happen for everybody and. I really have to thank everybody because, um, you know, there's a few who are like, ah, you didn't call me back or something. But 99% of everyone's like, I understand you're busy. Thank you for fitting us in. And it's really cooperative. And it's like kind of the world's falling apart. But there is there is kind of a good sort of we're all human and this is we're going to make it through it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's good to know that the guys that really matter are now relying on you. So you've now become you. the industry standard, which is great. Thank so thanks thank for being with much. us. And yeah, uh, Robert Marshall, everybody, from Source Connect and Source hey, man. Yeah, man. George, right. thank you, man. See you on the yeah. other side. Bye-bye. Right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> all I right, George, why don't we take a break and we'll come back with all our other guests. Sounds good. Right after these incredibly important messages so we can take a break. This is the Latin lover narrator from Jane the Virgin, Anthony Mendez, and you're enjoying Dan and George on The VoiceOver Body Shop. Well, hello there. I bet you weren't expecting to hear some big voiced announcer guy on your new orientation training for Snapchat, were you? This is Virgin Radio. Well, okay, we're not that innocent. There's jeans for wearing and there's jeans for working. Dickies. Because I ain't here to look pretty. She's a champion of progressive values, a leader for California, and a voice for America. It's smart. It's a phone. It's a smartphone. But it's so much more. It's a, the files are ready. Don't forget to pick up the eggs. What time is hockey practice? Check out this song. It's the end of the road for Rick. It's just you and me, Rick. When hope is lost. The I-8 from BMW. Who said saving the planet couldn't be stylish? Hey, it's J. Michael Collins. Bet you think I'm going to try and sell you a demo now, huh? I think they speak for themselves. But I will give you my email. It's jmichael at jmcvoiceover.com. Now, if Dan will stop waxing his mustache for a minute, we'll get back to the show. So, Levelator. It did a great job of RMS normalization for audiobook content and podcast episodes. But it's orphaned software which means no one's developing it anymore. And now it doesn't work with the latest Macs and Catalina Mac OS. So you're stuck, right? Well, not anymore. Behold the gooey goodness of Audio Cupcake. Visit audiocupcake.com and download the free Audio Cupcake app for Macintosh. Audio Cupcake does exactly what Levelator did so well for so long. It applies RMS normalization to your audio and it preps your work for ACX. And it does it so well with Mac OS, including Catalina. Just like with Levelator, you drag and drop your audio file onto the Audio Cupcake window, and out pops an RMS normalized file. But Audio Cupcake goes even further. Unlock the premium features of Audio Cupcake, and what pops out? audio that is both RMS and peak normalized and converted to a 192K mono MP3 file ready for uploading to ACX or your podcast platform. That's delicious audio goodness. Audio Cupcake is available free at audiocupcake.com. 
That's audiocupcake.com. Audio Cupcake, a beautiful, simple way to master your audio narration and podcasts. As a voice talent, you have to have a website. But what a hassle getting someone to do it for you. And when they finally do, they break or don't look right on mobile devices. They're not built for marketing and SEO. They're expensive. You have limited or no control. And it takes forever to get one built and go live. So what's the best way to get you online in no time? Go to voiceactorwebsites.com. Like our name implies, voiceactorwebsites.com just does websites for voice actors. We believe in creating fast, mobile-friendly, responsive, highly functional designs that are easy to read and easy to use. You have full control. No need to hire someone every time you want to make a change. And our upfront pricing means you know exactly what your costs are ahead of time. You can get your voiceover website going for as little as $700. So if you want your voice actor website without the hassle of complexity and dealing with too many options, go to voiceactorwebsites.com where your VO website shouldn't be a pain in the you-know-what. This is Bill Ratner, and you're enjoying Voice Over Body Shop with Dan Leonard and George Whittem. VOBS.TV. And we're back here on Voice Over Body Shop. George Whittem and I, and a lot of other people. Uh, but it was great talking to Robert Marshall. Boy, he looked pooped. <laughs> yeah. This is an exhausting, exhausting time. Yeah. Uh, for anybody in tech support, but they are, uh, they're rising to the occasion clearly. So, um, the system's going to be one of those things that's going to be used in studios on another level than they have ever used it before. About so time. Everybody has to be patient while the studios and the talent alike get it together. Yep. It's going to take a little bit, but, uh, it's going to happen because yeah. we got, we got to get used to it. Yeah. I that, think for a while, yeah. it's, con, it's conception that we'd be all working at by Easter and back into, you know, normal life again. Yeah. Not it's not happen. happening. Yeah. Nope. But you put out a video this week that's gotten a lot of hits that really goes through the whole process, right? Yeah. It's on the George, the tech, um, YouTube channel. And it's just a source connect standard for voiceover tutorial. Basically it's a tutorial. And then the last half of it is just nothing but questions and answers. So practically every question that you can think of has probably been asked on that video. So I recommend anybody who's really curious who hasn't seen it and is very wanting to know more about Source Connect and understand what it is and what it isn't. And hopefully it will clear up all the misconceptions, all the misnomers and myths. Yep. And uh, check that out at George the Tech, the YouTube channel. All righty. All right. Paul Stefano, unmute your mic. We haven't talked to you in a while. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing okay. Thanks for having me tonight, by the way, guys. No problem. First so, of all, isn't Robert just the bestest? Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah he yeah. is. Great having him here. In a happier, quieter time, I emailed them for support one time and, and got the reply back from Robert. And I said, wait a minute, Robert Marshall, you answer your own emails, owner of the company? And he said, yeah, as much as I can. He's, he's just so great with all he offers to the community. Yeah, well, it's, it shows. and it, it's it, I think he's probably working as hard as many healthcare workers are today, so... Except he's not going to catch anything from it, except a lot of exhaustion. Right. Uh, so how has the uh, how has the the turn turn down of all business uh, affected you so far, Paul? Actually, it really hasn't that much. Good. Um, my, the favorite meme I've seen so far on Facebook is the one with the sock monkey, where he's looking backwards and it says, "When you realize that your normal everyday lifestyle is now called self quarantining." <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. And thankfully, I've been busier than ever, too. Tons of work. I did some work even related to the virus itself, some PSAs for the public television station here, and even signed to a new agency last week. So I'm thankful and counting all my blessings that things haven't changed and actually have gotten better for me business-wise. Now, the family's all here, and juggling kids and schoolwork has been complicated. Not, not father of the year, for sure, with a lot of screen time going on, but, you know, you do what you can, and and try and make the best of the situation. Yeah. Well, my kids are a little older, but I certainly remember doing the homework. It's like, I already took this. <laughs> why, why do I have to take it again with you? Besides, yeah, you'll never need this. Man. Especially when it's too hard for you. And uh, that's already happening to me with the sixth grader. <laughs> <laughs> they, they teach it differently these days. All righty. Thanks, Paul. Uh, let's go to uh, Ron Montgomery. Ron, how you doing? Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a 
been a fun little one. At least I have plenty of toilet paper planned ahead. Yeah, you know, we're not sure what everybody's doing with it all, but you know, it's. <laughs> I figure there's going to be a massive blowout come Halloween, and every house is going to be covered with the <laughs> oh, toilet paper. M- <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's going to be people with hundreds of rolls and nothing to do with it, and it's <laughs> that's a good point. Excellent. So, uh, how how has it been for you? I mean, are you are you coping? You going nuts, or are you just having a, a jolly old time? I hate to say it, uh, kind of like uh, what Paul was saying. I'm pretty much the same as always uh, in the house and in, in the studio, and haven't really noticed from that perspective a big difference. Uh, I've been really busy doing a lot of e-learning, helping these people who never worked from home before, how to connect into their company's uh, systems remotely. And so there's been a lot of that rush e-learning to get through real fast so that they can get out to their employees and get them working again. Yeah, this is probably good. This is going to really change the way I think America does business, probably the whole world. Uh, this may actually make us even more of a global village because now we can really, really talk to people face to face. And it's not like something from a James Bond movie anymore. It's, uh, it is, we have the ability like we're doing right now to talk to anybody we want and they can talk to us if they want to talk to us, which is sometimes. Exactly. I think this is going to be a major shift in how business is going to run in the future, you know. For the good or the bad, at the end of the day, we will have a major change in how we work things anymore. And that's not a bad thing, really, but there's going to be a lot of companies that, you know, the local stuff that maybe just won't survive because we are a global village. There's no question about it. All righty. Well, it's it's good to know that everybody's is working hard out there. Um, does anybody have any questions amongst our guests here tonight? Raise your hand. I think tree. It doesn't Let's work. Connect. You see them raising their hand. No. Okay. I think I think Jem had a question though. <laughs> Go ahead, Jem. Well, it was more just with regards to just sort of recommendations as far as. Um, so I've seen like emails where it's like, oh, you have to have either Source Connect or Foam Patch, and then any sort of recommendations you have about uh, learning new DAWs and what sort of recommendations you have for people who don't have a lot of experience with that, who are who are catching up with everything and working with DAWs and and editing everything and to make it so then we can set it ready for those clients. Yeah. Do, do we do people really need to learn a new DAW? I mean, if they're just if if they're just connecting. George, if they're just connecting normally, then really you don't have to take the time to learn any of this stuff because they're not really so. asking you to produce. Yeah, we've talked about you know what a foam patch really is at the end of the day, and it technically is not really much more than an earbud in one ear plugged into your phone, and then you're talking to the client on the phone. I mean, that's at the most basic level a fully functional foam patch. Right. and you, So that allows you to continue recording in your normal software. Uh, whatever you normally would have used, uh, you can continue to use it. Um, and the good thing about Source Connect is, by and large, not always on Windows, but on Mac, it works beautifully alongside of all your other apps. So it can work in a similar way. Hit record in Twisted Wave or an Audition or in whatever software you use and let Source Connect create the connection to the studio. And you shouldn't have to learn any new just other than getting used to Source Connect, you shouldn't have to learn any new systems and new tools. Um, so how have you done phone patches in the past, Jim? I have not. Okay. Well, I mean, you, you've already got one. You just don't know it. You know, your, your, your hands-free device, your, your earbuds, whatever you use, your airport, air, what, what do you use for, do you have any earphones or anything you plug into your phone for f- yes. conversations? Because you can stick one of those and you don't have to have two, you know, two of them in. And you can have one in. You can have one in one ear while your headphones on the other. Some people actually do tuck it underneath the ear cup. So it's literally underneath the ear cup. If you've got big headphones, you can do that. And that won't create any sort of like feedback issues. No. 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 As long as the phone's not really, really loud. You know, you don't want to have it so loud that the microphone actually picks up the sound of their voice coming out of the phone that wouldn't be good 
but as long as the phone call is quiet and you can still hear a conversation at a low volume, um, yeah. no, no interference yeah. should work fine. And usually if you're, if you're, you know, if someone is directing you over the phone, they're going to be quiet while you're talking, while you're recording your stuff. And unless they're like, oh, maybe they should do it a little bit faster, you know, they'll interrupt you and say, can you do that a little bit faster? And then, you know, and, you know, and to ask them to mute themselves while you're talking and if they want to talk to unmute themselves, sort of like what we've been doing here. And, you know, it just, it just amazes me how complex people think this is supposed to be. And it's not, it's it really is pretty common sense. Well, yeah, we hear the word foam patch and we have this image in our brain of something in a big studio or a radio station, you know, a piece of equipment and all this. And that is a way to do it. But it's not by far the only way, and there are really simple ways. And that would, the earbud phone solution is highly effective, works really well. All right. Anybody else got any questions? Unmute yourself if you got a question for us. We got a couple of questions from the uh, in the chat room Can I too. Ask another question. That sure, I go ahead. Oh, sure. <laughs> so um, there are several. Uh, you know, fellow female voice actors who are out there and they're setting up their new booths. Do you guys have recommendations for mics that work good for, you know, our brighter, <laughs> you know, sibling voices for, for females? Uh, sure. I'll, I'll let you start with that one, George, because you know what I think, but you probably think the way I think. Well, yeah, I mean, any good quality condenser mic um, will work reasonably well, but some of them really are definitely very bright sounding. Like a Sennheiser 41.6, you know, shotgun mic is a bright sounding mic. It just is. And, and that's why it works so well for a voiceover, especially more men's voices to make that men's voice not sound muddy, but also but sound more crisp, you know, crisp. That's yeah. the word. Thank you. But if you're already a crisp voice, that's not a good thing. So um, there's a mic. It's kind of funny. It looks a lot like this one. This is a Audio Technica 875R. There's also the Rode NTG4, this mic here. And the nice thing about this mic is it looks and behaves like a Sennheiser 416, 416, but it's got some buttons on it. And if you leave the mic set up totally flat, it's not a bright sounding mic. It actually has a very flat sound. So a mic like an NTG4 could work um, because you can just tell it to be flat without boosting the high end. Right. And then there's a button that will boost the high end for, for those that might want it. So um, that's one. I think the Sure KSM 32 has been, re I've recommended that for women's voices. Yeah. I, I always find that, you know, the mic you have is probably fine. If you're sending out audio, I, I doubt if there is an engineer out there they can say, oh, you're using a KSM-32, or you're using a U87, or you're using no. a 460. They can't tell the If they can't see what you're using and you don't tell them, they don't know. And the fact of the matter is, is most of these guys, if you're especially if you're doing commercial work with a bigger studio, they can take any audio. If it's clean, they can make it sound like anything they want. And so, and they're not really concerned with the, what mic you're using. Uh, yeah, a, a good producer can deal with a sibilance thing or you know too much bass or whatever you know they can shape the sound so um it's not as critical but also we can also with some processing in your daw set up an eq curve that maybe complements your voice with the mic better as well so right. it can be fixed with eq right and it, they're just minor little corrections they're not like yeah. big time things so yeah Anyway, we, we, we had a couple of comments from our, our vast audience all over the world. Like, Lori Allen was watching. And she, hey, Lori. And she says, I'm so much smarter today because of George. Phew. <laughs> she was my first client of the day. And after a little bit of, uh, you know, 15 minutes of, like, you know, psychology work between us, <laughs> just trying to help each other feel better. Uh, about what we're dealing with right now, you know, we got her up to speed with Source Connect. And she'd been using IPDTL for a long time with, I think, Hallmark Channel. And um, so she was familiar with that technology. So she just had to learn another new tool. Um, one thing that's driving clients, not clients, I'm sorry, talent, the voice actors crazy, is the miscommunication or confusion from the agents and then the studios that the agents are working with. You know, they'll say things like, 
send us your IPDTL numbers. Well, it just doesn't make sense because there are no numbers for IPDTL unless you're using it as an ISDN bridge and then you have ISDN numbers. Right. But those are not IPDTL numbers. So there's a, this confusion abound about what IPDTL does and what it is and then how it works, you know, what it's for and what the voice actor on their end needs to have and what they send to the studio when they want to connect. And there's a tremendous learning curve everybody's being thrust into right now. You know, it's, it's very disorienting. And when somebody of authority, like an agent at a major studio says, send us your IPDTL numbers, the actor is like, huh? What do you mean? You know, so that kind of stuff's happening. Perhaps you and I need to do a webinar for the uh, people on the other side of the glass to explain. How can we get them to watch it? But we'll we grab them by the throat. The throat. Face, but how do you get these studio producers and engineers to watch our content? If anybody has a clue to that one, let me you know. You want to know. That, that would be the million-dollar question. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, JDK asks, if someone buys Source Connect Standard today, is there still the cert fee? The cert fee. Like, are they doing a special deal? If you buy it today, you don't pay the certification fee? I think so. That's I pretty- I don't think they're offering any specials right now, probably because they're just so overwhelmed with supporting it. Um, There's probably not really any special deals at the moment, but you can always ask, but I don't know the answer to that one. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Do we have any questions from our massive uh, in-studio audience, our virtual in-studio audience? I thought of one. Go for it. Go ahead. Uh, Because of what you were just talking about, I have a lot of clients who come to me and don't know what a directed session is or haven't really thought about it. So I often suggest it to them. And I'm wondering what your, I know what I would suggest, but I'm wondering what your opinion is. What's the best tool to suggest to a client in order to use or have them listen in on a session to make things easier and get it done in one take or one session as opposed to going back and forth through email? Right. Yeah. Well, we're doing it right now uh because we're using zoom and zoom is fabulous because you can do it face to face and not you know and they can mute their end or you can mute their mic or whatever and it won't you know you keep it out of your recording chain and it's super duper simple i've been doing it with people all over the world when you know in finland and norway and spain and you know and and clients here in the u.s and they're like wow this is fabulous although Everybody seems to be discovering what Zoom is now. How long have we been using this, George? Like five, six years? Five, six years. Yeah. James Allberger told us about us years, years ago. We dropped Skype like a bad, bad habit, and uh, we've been using it ever since. And then Zoom has risen, risen to the occasion. Speaking of rising to the occasion and their stocks going up, <laughs> um, you know, they've risen to the occasion. I mean, I've been using it constantly for a week when everybody is using it, and it has shown no signs to me of falling to its knees. Yeah. It's worked every time. It's been rock solid, reliable. So yeah. Kudos to them. They must have unbelievable, um, you know, server engineers and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, Zoom, Zoom, plus they get a phone number too. So if the client is, you know, really not going to be wanting to be on an iPhone or using any tech, when you start a new Zoom session, you can also share a phone number so they can call in. So it really is like a one, one click solution. Absolutely. Um, It's hard to beat. Yeah, it really works well. That 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 answer your question there, Paul? Yeah. And the one thing I would add on is that if you do plan on giving that out a lot and using it a lot, get the paid version because you'll you'll never look like more of a schmuck than if you're on a session and it goes over forty five minutes and you drops out because you have the free account. Yeah. Absolutely. It's ten bucks a month, I yeah. think. I think it's still ten dollars a month. If correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really. And and the thing is is it, how many how many of these studios are really recording on the other end? I mean, in the bigger studios here in LA and maybe in New York and Chicago, where maybe that's definitely don't. a kind of a niche thing, right? Yeah, it always has Those, been. Yeah, that the people recording you remote on Source Connect is definitely like a certain segment of the voiceover business, but it's by far not the whole business. You yeah. know, it's a that's small the part about this whole run, isn't it? Is that most of the people that are adding Source Connect probably will not use it in the next three to four weeks even though they're being told by their their representation or maybe even some studios that they, they need it, it probably won't have a session in the next three to four weeks where they'll need it that quickly. Really? Yeah, they're going to, well, you know, they're going to scramble to get it working. Hopefully, and they'll ha- by the time the session does happen, they'll have 
you at least practiced with it so they know that it works um but there is you know there's definitely a cause to get it up and running early but as i've said on our show a million times when we do our ads you don't have to buy it right now you can get the demo get it up and running and have it ready to rock and then when the need need arises activate your account so Man, that makes keep that in sense. mind yes and speaking of your show can i take just a second to thank you guys publicly because no I, I am so prepared for this week. One of the reasons I'm not panicking is because of all the information that I've, I've received from the two of yous, as we say back in Philly, George, over the years. I, I was prepared for this even two or three years ago because of all the hard work you guys have put into this show. And I appreciate everything you've done, uh, not to mention the times I've hired you both to help me as well. So thanks to both of you for all you do. Oh, man, thanks. We appreciate that. You know, it's yeah. we, we do it. I mean... D- you know, we, we do this for a living, but, you know, the great thing about the voiceover business is that everybody is, you know, generally they're the best people around. You know, it's you know, a lot of on-screen actors, you know, if, if you've ever gone into an on-screen audition in the casting lines, you're all like, China's sake, yeah, we don't have that in the voiceover business. It's fun. And every time we go in and work with somebody, it really is making friends with people and, and really seeing what this business is about and helping you guys. And we learn from you and... And every, that's the thing, George, every single studio that we put together is different. There is not one secret sauce, special one size fits all way to do this. You really need to, every room has to be just a little bit different. And, uh, you know, I've been setting up some studios this week and it's like one, some challenge and another one's like, well, she's got clothes going to an L shape. Oh, just put the mic right there. Sounded better than some studios we have here in L.A. Oh, that's that's actually an issue. I mean, I have clients saying that, you know, they've been recording in their own custom built or really well set up home studios that do have to go into commercial studios all the time that sound worse than their home studio. Yeah. Um, that may not be in LA as much, but certainly in smaller markets that happens routinely. And they're like, what am I doing here? This place, this sounds terrible. My really? home studio sounds way better than this. And so they're happy. Like I spoke to one this morning and she was like, I'm so happy now because I'm using my home studio for all these sessions or, you know, that I will be using my home studio now for these sessions. So I don't have to go, not only do I have to not have to leave, but I don't have to go record at these crappy local studios. Oh. So it's fascinating. Yeah. I remember once going into a studio in Buffalo and they were refixing Main Street. This place was right off of Main Street. Like, there was a jackhammer out there. And, <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm like, can we like wait for the, this is not, no, I'll, I'll clean it up in the mix and it'll be buried in the music. And then I, I watched this commercial with my voice on it. And my wife turns to me and she goes, where are you? <laughs> so everything got buried in the mix. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Jay Horace chimed in on the chat uh, privately with me, yeah, to fill in some information about Source Connect. So, you can do a subscription, we all know about that. That's um, 170 it's $75 initial initiation, then uh, 35 a month thereafter. But you can also at that, you can also sign up for the certification, which is an additional 75 and that's actually done real time with their support. So you'll actually schedule a support call, which right now they're at least a week out, said Robert. <laughs> if not more. Yeah. yeah. Now you don't need to do this to be on Source Connect, but you need to do it to have that certification badge. And uh, once you do that, um, you know, he says it takes about 30 minutes to an hour and uh, they're just going to verify that you can maintain a good and long session without glitches and dropouts and problems like that. And when they when you've shown that it works and they've shown that it works, you'll get the little extra badge. So that's what the $75 certification fee is. Thanks for that, Jay Harris. Appreciate it. All right. Well, we, we have we have lots more to talk about in our next hour. We'll be doing Tech Talk here in just a couple of minutes. So let's go to some of our other sponsors besides our wonderful friend Source Connect. And uh, we'll be right back to wrap things up for this segment right after this. This is Anthony Mendez, and you're watching Voice Over Body Show. As to how we're doing on runtime. Breaking news. As of today, Amazon and BSW have sold out of Porta Booth Pluses. Now, Amazon still has a few pros in stock. This is Anthony Mendez, and you're watching Voice Over Body Show.
Your dynamic voiceover career requires extra resources to keep moving ahead. Now there's one place where you can explore everything the voiceover industry has to offer. That place is voiceoverextra.com. Whether you're just exploring a voiceover career or a seasoned veteran ready to reach that next professional level, stay in touch with market trends, coaching, products and services while avoiding scams and other pitfalls. Voiceover Extra has hundreds of articles, free resources and training that will save you time and help you succeed. Learn from the most respected talents, coaches and industry insiders when you join the online sessions bringing you the most current information on topics like audiobooks, auditioning, casting, home studio setup and equipment, marketing, performance techniques and much more. It's time to hit your one-stop daily resource for voiceover success. Sign up for a free subscription to newsletters and reports and get 14 bonus reports on how to ace the voiceover audition. It's all here at voiceoverextra.com. That's voiceoverxtra.com. Breaking news. As of today, Amazon and BSW have sold out of Porta Booth Pluses. Now, Amazon still has a few pros in stock, but if you want a Porta Booth Plus, voiceoveressentials.com is the only game in town. They have a good stock of both booths right now and are shipping a lot faster than Amazon. That's right, get the most popular mobile studio out there. The Portabooth Plus makes recording on the road easy peasy. It assembles in seconds and allows you to kick out those inconvenient auditions wherever you are. Get one now at voiceoveressentials.com, the home of all Harlan Hogan signature products, like the VO1A microphone that you're hearing right now with perfect mic technique and Harlan Hogan signature series headphones. Go there now, voiceoveressentials.com. Thanks for being our sponsor for nine years, Harlan. Ooh, I think I heard the voice of a body shop. I did. I did hear the voice of a body shop. Beat old body shop. And we're back here on Voice Over Body Shop. Boy, oh boy. It's great to hang out. I mean, there's been a lot of hangouts this week. And but I think the cool thing is is we're actually connecting with a lot of people perhaps we haven't talked with in a long time, and uh, so that's and and Zoom is doing very well at that. Uh, well, yes. next week on this very show uh, we'll have Tech Talk number thirty where we'll continue this discussion. Who knows what's going to happen in the next week though? You know it could be very different. Uh, you know, it's, Chris, I've been saying for the last couple of weeks because of our sequestered lifestyle. If mankind is wiped out, voice actors will rule the world. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, who are our donors of the week? And we greatly appreciate all of their help with, uh, the show. Yeah, actually, I see one or two new names in this list. I see, uh, Tim Morgenthaler, um, or it could be Tyler. Depending I think it's on Morgenthaler, but yeah. Morgenthaler, um, Philip Sapir, Trey Mosley, Shelly Avellino. Natasha Marshuka, George's dad. That's dad still donating. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Joe Lewis. Yeah, Joe Lewis. Yeah. Brandon Herensberger, Patty Gibbons, Alan Bremer, Diana Birdsall, Uncle Roy, Martha Kahn, and Mike Gordon. So, a lot of familiar names and a few new ones. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool to see that. Gotta like it. Hey, Thanks show us me. your booths. We got. Um, we know there's a lot of you out there watching. You know, tonight we've got the news set here at VOBS Central. Uh, uh, but we like to see what your booths are like. Send them to this, you know, take them with your iPhone or whatever you take pictures with and send them in landscape, not portrait. We tell you that every week and uh, we mean it. Uh, if you want to get your studio on here, we've seen some really interesting ones lately too. Um, you're not going to be in our studio for a while, so we're not even going to bother with that one. But we do need yeah. to thank our sponsors, uh, Harlan Hogan's VoiceOver Essentials, VoiceOver Extra, Source Elements, VOHeroes.com, VoiceActorWebsites.com, and JMC Demos. Right. And, of course, the Dan and R.C. Leonard Foundation for the Betterment of Live Webcasting in Seclusion, Jeff Holman on chat room duty, and Sue Merlino, who's at home. I feel so lonely here, but she's running everything <laughs> from home. It's amazing a... that we pulled this off. Absolutely. Thanks for being so patient. <laughs> To yeah. make it happen. Yeah, really. It's uh, it, nothing like it in the world. And, of course, Lee Penny for being Lee Penny. We know you're out there watching, Lee. Uh, anyway, this is a very tough business. 
But boy, it's our time now because they need us voice actors and they need us voice actors with good home studios and we're here to help. And we'll be back with Tech Talk here on VoiceOver Body Shop. In the meantime, remember, if it sounds good, it is good. All righty. I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver Body Shop or VO BS Town Hall. Town Hall. Town Hall. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time, everybody.